na barabara kabisa mpenzi mtazamaji karibu katika runinga ya Y254 kipindi kikiwa ni matukio ya COVID-19 na mtangazaji wa zamu sasa hivi nafahamika kama Levis Kendrell Bis. Tutakuwa na kufungulia jamvi langu hapa leo na kufahamisha mambo ambayo yameweza kutokea wiki nzima. Kuna mambo ambayo hakuna ripoti ambayo zimeweza kutolewa na waziri wa, wa afya vile vile na pia uh, CS Rashid Amana ambaye amekuwa kizungumza karibu wiki nzima na nitakuwa naanzia siku ya Jumanne. Uh, siku ya Jumanne aliweza kuzungumza uh, CS Rashid Amana akaweza kueleza mambo kadha kadha kikubwa macho aliweza kufahamisha watu kwamba kwa, kwa bahati mbaya aliweza kumpoteza mtoto uh, mmoja aliweza kupatana kupatikana na virusi vya covid 19 na vile vile siku ya Jumaine kumbuka kulikuwa na kesi 15 uh, tukaje mpaka siku ya Jumatano ambapo kulikuwa na vipimo ambavyo vilifanyika 1500 na 16 na tukapata kesi 22 ambazo zilikuwa mpya kabisa na vile vile tukapata siku ya Alhamis tukafanyika vipimo 1926 na tukapata uh, kesi ya watu wawili wakaweza kuiaga dunia siku hiyo waweza kuripotiwa na vile vile kwa kuwa na watu 21 ambao waweza kupatikana na virusi vya covid 19 ala vile vile siku ya Ijumaa kulikuwa na vipimo vilivyoweza kufanyika watu 2200 waweza kupimwa na kwa bahati mbaya watu wakaweza kuiaga dunia na vile vile kuripotiwa kesi zingine 23 uh, na siku ya Jumamosi kabla niingia hapo kumbuka kwamba hapo katikati katikati ya wiki kumekuwa na mambo mengi ambayo yamefanyika lakini kuna hiki kisi cha kusikitisha na cha kushangaza sana uh, cha kule Bomet kaunti ya Bomet tutafahamu kwamba kuna familia ambayo ileza kumpoteza mpendo wao ambaye alikuwa pia na ugonjwa wa kisukari na vile vile baada ya mpendo wao kupatikana kwamba na virusi vya corona basi kabidi familia watu 16 wao pia waweze kupelekwa katika karantini na hesabu ukipiga hesabu za rakaraka inasikitisha kwa nini sababu hebu zingatia hebu fikiria jinsi wale watu walikuwa wanatumia ila kiasi gani ambao itaweza kuhakikisha kwamba watakaa pale siku 14 katika ile karantini ila tunaoombea na tunaje serikali itazingatia mambo kama hayo na mambo yatakuwa sawa ila jana kulikuwa na habari kubwa ambayo ilikuwa inasubiriwa sana na wananchi wa Kenya wakimsubiri rais Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta aweze kuzungumza aweze kutufahamisha je kafu ingeendelea je kafu ingefikia ukingoni na je lockdown ingefunguliwa mabado tupo katika mfungo basi mwisho siku mambo ya kuwa jinsi vilivyokuwa kwa sababu kulikuwa na singo mbingu hapa na pale mtazamaji na pia kulikuwa na tuseme taarifa ambazo wako fresha wa Kenya wengi sababu wengi wao walikuwa wanatarajia kwamba labda wangepata ile nafasi sasa ya kuzurura zurura wamezoea mida kawaida tunafahamu kwamba kuna mchezo umeanza kama Bundesliga imeanza sasa hivi tungetarajia labda mwisho wa siku inaenda kupiga mpaka saa za usiku kule nje katika sehemu za kutazama zile soka lakini mwisho wa siku inabidi kama una kwako uh, una vingamuzi ambavyo vinahakikisha kwamba vitakufanya uweze kutazama zile ligi basi mwisho wa siku utambulia pa tupu utabaki tu kusikiza historia kutoka kwa wenzako ila nitakuwa nakufahamisha sasa jana anaweza kuzungumza ni rais aliweza kuzungumza na kaika wazi kwa mara kwanza akasema kwamba kuna kesi 430 kufikia sasa mu nchini na kufikia sasa kumeripotiwa kesi ya msini za watu ambao wameweza kuiaga dunia mu nchini Kenya na vile vile akazungumzia watu na moja kufikia sasa wameza kuachiliwa uhuru watu ambao wameza kufanywa vipimo si moja si mbili lakini zaidi ya mbili na wakaweza kupatikana kwamba wako sawa na kwa uhuru kuachiliwa kwa kuishi katika hali yao ya kawaida kabisa na kufikia sasa 481 bado wanaendelea eh, kufanywa vipimo na vile vile kufanywa uguzi kabisa na vile vile akaweza kuzungumzia mambo mengine ambayo ndio kikubwa sana nitakuwa naanza palafu pia utakuwa unatazama kandi itakuwa inafuata baada mimi mazungumzo yangu hapo na basi vile vile nitakuwa nakuzungumzia aliweza kuzungumza kwamba anaitafuta hiyo ndio uweze kuielewa vizuri kabisa na pia uweze kuitazama kanda aliweza kuzungumzia watu ambao wanapeleka magari yao ndo idadi ni kubwa sana kati ya aliweza kuzungumzia watu ambao wanapeleka magari makubwa makubwa kwa mfano kama transist ndo watu ambao wameza kuleta pia kesi kubwa ukiangalia kesi zaidi ya sabini ilikuwa imeripotiwa kutoka watu kama wao na ningependa tusikie je kulizungumziwa vipi So therefore, fellow Kenyans, in accordance with the advice by the National Emergency Response Committee on Coronavirus and our National Security Council, I am today directing as follows, that there will be a cessation of movement of persons and any passenger passenger ferrying automobiles and vehicles into and out of the territory of the Republic of Kenya through the Kenya-Tanzania international border except for cargo vehicles with effect from midnight tonight 
Saturday the 16th May 2020. That there shall also be a cessation of movement of persons and any passenger ferrying automobiles and vehicles into and out of the territory of the Republic of Kenya through the Kenya-Somali international border except for cargo vehicles and this also will take effect from midnight today Saturday the 16th May 2020 that all drivers of cargo vehicles shall be subjected to mandatory COVID-19 disease testing and will only be granted entry into the territory of the Republic of Kenya if they test negative. Ga kwingine kwa mtazamaji ambao unafaa ufahamu ni kwamba pia aliweza rais aliweza kuzungumzia mambo mengi aliweza kuzungumzia kesi ambazo pia si za hapa nchini sasa zinatoka katika nchi tofauti tofauti kwa mfano kama Tanzania na vile vile Somalia na akagusia ukiangalia kama kati ya kesi 47 ambazo ileza kutajwa ukiangalia uh, kuna kama zaidi ya tuseme nyingi zilikuwa zitoka katika county of Fort kama ukiangalia kutoka kwa boda ya boda ya Namanga pale ukiangalia vile vile kutoka Somalia na Mambo mengi tu ambayo aliweza kuyazungumzia. We have unfortunately witnessed an increased number of imported cases among individuals crossing into the country through our borders. And these new areas have become a matter of grave concern to us. Among the positive cases that have been registered in the country this last week, a total of 43 cases have recently crossed the border from neighboring Somalia and Tanzania. As of yesterday, the cases that have crossed the border were distributed as follows. Wajia had 14 cross-border cases. Izebania had 10 cross-border cases. Namanga had 16 cross-border cases. Lunga Lunga had two, and Loitoktok one. These 43 cases represent almost a quarter of the 160 Kwa ngine kwa rais aliweza kutoa hongera sana hongera kubwa kwa madaktari ambao wamekuwa mstari wa mbele kuhakikisha kwamba wanazingatia na wanachukua mstari wa mbele kuzingatia kwamba wanawasaidia wananchi hapa na pale katika pia kujitolea katika muda wao maybe wangekuwa tenga na familia zao lakini kuhakikisha kwamba wanapigana nili janga la COVID-19 I am delighted to note that due to the dedication and commitment of our healthcare workers, we have discharged some 301 individuals from our health facilities, all having registered full recovery since the onset of this pandemic. And there are now 481 cases that are currently undergoing treatment. I want to thank once again, the dedicated and skilled Kenyans who are working around the clock to keep our infections relatively low so far. And I also want to thank the tens of millions of Kenyans who are adhering to the health, hygiene, and social distancing measures that have been put in place by our health officials. Fellow Kenyans, if we had not taken time... Kwingine kwa mtazamaji ya mba wameza kwa zungumzi ya meza pia kutuwa risara la ambilambi kwa wale familia zili ambazo meza kwa poteza wapendo wawu na aleza kuzungumza mengi ya mba unezo kaskiza mwenye. To 50 deaths. 
Indeed, fellow Kenyans, it is disturbing to note that close to 30% of these recorded deaths occurred at home. I'll take this opportunity on behalf of all Kenyans to send my heartfelt condolences to the families and friends of those that we have lost to this pandemic. The life of every single Kenyan is precious. And I, together with millions of Kenyans, mourn the lost dreams that have been cut short so suddenly by this disease. Uh, mtazamaji kumbuka jana kitu kikubwa ambacho wananchi walikuwa wanasubiria sana kusikia ni je kafu itakuwa inaendelea je kafu itakuwa imefikia mwisho na je kutoka kuzunguka kutoka kaunti moja mpaka kwa kaunti nyingine kuangalia kwa mfano kama kaunti ya Nairobi hatuwezi tukaondoka tukielekea kama kaunti ya Mombasa je kutakuwa na ule sasa watu wanaweza katangamana katika kaunti tofauti tofauti itakuwa vipi basi endeza kuzungumza na kidogo kwa Kenya wengi haiku afurahishe sababu wao walikuwa wanatarajia labda ndo ndio imefika mwisho lakini bado haijafika kikomo na ukiangalia aliweza kusema kwamba aliweza mwanzo aliweza kufunguka na akasema kwamba kwa watu wote iliongezeka hapa kidogo kwa watu wote ambao watakuwa maybe wanasafiri kutoka kuelekea kama nchi ya Tanzania kwa mfano Somalia au Rusiwi na sasa kufikia sasa pia pale pale pia kumepigwa lockdown tazamaji na watu ambao watakuwa na Rusiwi watu kingi katika hizo hizo nchi ambazo zimeweza kuzitaja hapo nchi ya Tanzania na Somalia ni watu ambao wanasafirisha mizigo kago na pia ndo akaelezea bado kwa mambo ya kusafirisha mizigo ndio mtu akubaliwa kuingia nchini Kenya ambaye anasafirisha mizigo lazima afanywe vipimo na akifanywa vipimo ambapo na virusi vya covid 19 virusi vya corona basi hata ruhusiwa kuingia nchini lakini kipatikana kwamba ana virusi vya corona basi ndo ataruhusiwa kuingia nchini kingine ambacho alikizungumzia alisema kwamba kafi imeweza kuongezwa na kwa siku zingine moja na vile vile kuingia na kutoka nje ya kaunti ya Nairobi na vile vile Kilifi, Kwale, Mombasa na Mandera bado imeweza kuongezwa mpaka tarehe sita uh, mwezi wa sita mwaka 2020. Aha. Dusk to dawn curfew that is currently in force will be extended for a further period of 21 days up to and until the 6th of June. 2020. That the cessation of movement into and out of the Nairobi metropolitan area and the counties of Kilifi, Kwale, Mombasa, and Mandera that is currently in force shall also be extended up to and until the 6th of June 2020. The government will continue to take every measure that it can to protect the lives of Kenyans from this pandemic and to plan also for the recovery of our economy post the crisis. The whole world is walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Kabisa mtazamaji umeweza kusikia na kufikia sasa ni kufahamishe tu uweze kuelewa kwamba kufikia jana kesi ambazo zimeweza kutajwa mu nchini ni 830 uh, kufikia sasa vifo ni hamsini na watu ambao wameweza kuachiliwa huru baada ya kufanyiwa vipimo na kupatikana kwamba wana virusi vya corona ni watu na moja na kufikia sasa bali wanazidi kufanya vipimo na vile vile utakuwa utakuwa unafahamu mapema baada ya hivi leo utakuwa unafahamu utakuwa unakufahamisha nipo hapa studio ni siondoki kwa sasa nataka nipumzike tu kidogo nikizidi kusubiri jana atakuwa anazungumza kutoka katika wizara ya afya atufahamishe dadi kama imeongezeka idadi watu ambao wameweza kupona kama kuna mtu ameyaga dunia na je kuna kwa vipi katika pia mipaka ya nchi tofauti tofauti ila kwa sasa nataka uzidi kupata burudani kupitia kipindi cha Benedict hao ambacho kinaletwa na Andy C alafu mimi nitakuwa narudi baadaye kukufahamisha matukio mengi zaidi ni Televis Kendrell Biskona Adhuri Njema Thank you.